First real problem with my Toyota Tacoma, and it might be my fault. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Not too good here. I have my first real problem with my Toyota Tacoma, and that's right, it might be my fault. Um, I'm walking because my Toyota Tacoma up there will not start. I got in it this morning, cranked it. I was actually heading out to make a video, right? Working. And I got in, I turned the key, everything was normal. Um, and then I got that dreaded clicking, that krrr, you know, that sound you get when you know it's not gonna start. Now, let me tell you what I think it is, and I'm not positive yet, um, but what I think it is, of course, is the battery, right? Um, I've got a, uh, a tender on it right now, or a charger. It's actually a trickle charger slash charger. I'll show you guys, we've got it all hooked up here. Um, it's actually starting to fluctuate now between low, you can see it just read low before, and real quick there it flashed 60. Uh, I'm hoping you guys saw that, but it, uh, it would not start this morning. Now, that's a drag, and I haven't had any issues with this truck so far. I think the only real thing, and I've avoided the, uh, the fuel pump thing. So far, mine has not been on the recall list. But the only real issue I, I've had since I've had this truck, which is starting to push a year now, well, a few months yet, um, was a little chip right back here. Um, on the tailgate area. That's the only problem I've had. Otherwise, the truck has been spot on perfect. Can't say the same thing about my Jeep Gladiator out there. So, what did I do? And this is theory at the moment, theory. Let me, uh, let's go back to the truck here and I'll show you. Um, I have a, uh, oh, what do you wanna call it? A wireless, accessory controller hooked up. Uh, it is this unit right there, right this. It's the uh, trigger wireless accessory controller. And I have it hooked up directly to the battery here. Uh, I've had it that way ever since I've had it on the truck. And that's been uh, a few months. It's actually been quite a while now. Um, you have a choice when you hook that thing up, right? You can hook it up directly, which is how I have it hooked up so that there's always power to it. Now, it does say in the directions um, that if you do it that way, you, you'll have a drain on the battery, right? When you're not driving the truck around. And potentially, if you leave the truck sit, um, I think it said, if I recall, for a couple weeks or something like that, uh, <laughs> that it could indeed uh, drain your battery. Well, I don't typically leave the truck sit for long periods of time, and I've never let it sit for a couple of weeks. So I was really pretty confident that uh, that was not going to cause me any problems, right? Now, I have had the truck sitting. It's probably not been driven for about, maybe about four or five days, something like that, because I've been making videos for the other channel and using the Jeep Gladiator. So it has been sitting, I did take it out. I take that back. I did take it out about three days ago. Um, drove it for just a little bit, it wasn't far, but I did drive it. And I did notice when I started it up that it seemed to be a little weak in the start, you know? It cranked, but it just seemed to crank a little slow. It started, no issues, ran just fine, but still, I did notice something. Now, the weather has changed here, of course, uh, as well. You know, we're used to temperatures in the, I don't know, 80s, 90s right now. And today it is actually, it's 60 degrees in the garage. Um, so it's not horrible, but that is a, a 30 or so degree temperature change. Now, I don't know if that's enough in conjunction with the constant draw from the wireless accessory uh, controller that I have on there to cause any kind of an issue. But that's my thinking, that because the temperature has gone down, a change in climate, and that constant draw, which I've never experienced problems with before, 
has caused some sort of a uh, problem with the battery. Uh, let's take another look. Again, if, I've had the trickle charger on there now for about 15 minutes, something like that. Ah, and you can see now it is reading 60. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that 60 denotes. Maybe that's amps. I'm, I'm really not, or volts rather. Well, it's a 12 volt battery. It really can't be volts, right? Uh, so let's assume it's amps. I'm not sure I'd have to look it up. And to be quite honest, I'm really not that concerned as to what it means. Uh, all I know is it's gone from low to 60 now. So I'm probably gonna leave that charger on there for, I don't know, maybe half an hour or something like that. I could try to crank it now, but I wanna give it a good jolt before I do that. And, uh, and then we'll start it up and see if indeed that was my issue. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut off here for a little bit and I'll come back on after about a half an hour. It'll be just like that for you guys. And we'll see. But this is my first problem with the Toyota Tacoma. And in all honesty, I do think I caused it myself. So I may, there is another way to hook up that wireless charger so that it's only on, or not wireless charger, wireless controller, so that it's only on when the truck is on. And obviously that's really the way to do it. Um, I just didn't figure there'd be a big enough draw that it would cause me issue, but I think I might've been wrong. Okay, ran the trickle charger, the charger uh, on the battery for about, it's probably about an hour actually. And interestingly, it went up to 60. And then while I was still home, and then when I got back, it had dropped back to low, so probably because there was still draw on the battery maybe from the uh, wire from the auxiliary switch control. I don't know, but it was still plugged in, so it should have been charging anyway, but who knows? I don't know. Maybe it actually draws more than uh, what they say it draws. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll consider this uh, probably my second mod fail, and this is on me, I think. Uh, the first was, of course, putting all those applique things or whatever on my 2018 Tacoma. All the carbon fiber accents I added, didn't really care too much for that. So that's my first fail. Uh, this is my second fail. Um, does the Tacoma really have a problem? I, I wouldn't blame this on the Tacoma. Uh, I don't think it's a Tacoma problem. I think it's a Rob Motive installation problem. Um, you can hook it up that way. And again, in the directions uh, for the auxiliary switch, it did say that uh, it would cause a drain, but it would take weeks to discharge the battery if it was just sitting, who knows. So what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm not real happy with where that switch is mounted anyway, sitting on top of the battery. Never been a real fan of that. It was just the best place that I could figure to put it at the time. Since I've come up with a new idea, um, I did buy a bracket to mount it somewhere else. So I am gonna change the location of it I am gonna hook up that yellow extension or uh, ignition rather wire so that the auxiliary wireless switch is not on uh, unless the truck is running. That will stop it from drawing any current from the battery uh, while it's just sitting. So that's gonna be a, another mod coming up on the channel. Stay tuned for that. I'll show you uh, how I probably should have done this had I thought of it. Uh, in the first place. So problem solved. Tacoma is running again. No issues with the Tacoma still. Just a little bit of a, an installer problem. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Do you really think that thing should have drawn enough current from the battery sitting uh, three or four days to discharge the battery completely? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any more of my screw ups in the future. And do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay charged out there. Bye.